Tracing the Toyota Yaris E's family tree is no easy task. For one thing, this small sedan's name is misleading, Yaris suggests a relation to Toyota's subcompact hatchback, which isn't true, while Ea is a meaningless moniker held over from when the car still was sold under its maiden name, Cyan. Above all, none of these badges indicate that the Yaris Ear was designed and engineered and is built by Mazda. Essentially a sedan version of the Mazda 2 which is no longer sold in the United States in any form. The Yaris Ear is produced at a Mazda plant in Mexico, uses a Mazda 1.5 liter 4 cylinder engine, and features an interior that will look familiar to anyone who has sat in a new Mazda within the past few years. So perhaps it is best to think of the Yaris Ear as the Yaris Hatchback's adopted step sibling from a more esteemed pedigree. The partnership certainly benefits Toyota, as the Yaris Ear retains many of the tenets that earned the larger Mazda 3 a spot on our 10 best cars list, namely an engaging demeanor and a strong value proposition. The Yaris Ear positively shames the other bargain basement entries once you step inside with a genuinely high-quality feel to the plastics and the cloth upholstery. A Mazda spec console-mounted knob that controls the standard 7.0-inch touchscreen operates with a precision and a weight that wouldn't feel out of place in an Audi. The front seats are comfortable and well-padded, and while rear seat legroom is somewhat tight, the Yaris E's relatively tall body means that headroom is adequate for most adults. Beyond choosing between a standard 6-speed manual and an $1,100 6-speed automatic transmission, Yaris Ea buyers need only select an exterior color. The lack of option packages is a holdover from the old Cyan days, and the car is a screaming value given the amount of standard equipment. Bluetooth, keyless entry, cruise control, a 7.0-inch infotainment display, a rear-view camera, and even forward collision warning all are included on every Yaris Ea. To get that sort of equipment on a Chevrolet Spark, for instance, you'll pay $1,680 more, while neither the Honda Fit nor the Ford Fiesta offers forward collision warning on any trim level.